with the president asking for a presidential commission. I think it is in the right direction. Um, for people to say uh, it is a political witch hunt and stuff like that, I don't think it is a political witch hunt. Personally, I believe if there are people who are culpable of any wrongdoing, I mean the law should take its course. Yeah. But where you have people who are trying to antagonize people, yeah. I think it is not right. I mean the Ghana Football Association has a constitution. We have rules and regulations and we have our own status. If people think the president of the Ghana Football Association should be voted out, let's go to Congress. We all uh, will be meeting in Pram Pram. We come there, we think we don't need him. We just boot him out of office. Let's go through the process. I think that would be the right thing to do. But people trying to antagonize people who think because um, Ghana has failed in a World Cup. Look over, let me tell you, the World Cup is not our birthright. And there is no logic telling me that if you go to the quarterfinals of the World Cup in a previous tournament or you get to a 16th stage in a previous tournament, it means automatically you have to get to the semi-finals. It is not like that. The champions of 2010, that is Spain, did not even make it to the next stage of the competition. Brazil, almighty Brazil, who were hosting the tournament, were, who, who were hosting the tournament, lost by seven goals to one in Germany. And that is why we say football is full of uncertainties. Are you telling me because Ghana has not uh, performed well in Brazil, so it means uh, heads must roll in Ghana. People, the FA president should get out. We have to revamp the Black Stars uh, players. I mean, let's sit down as a country. Let's see where we we did not do things right. Let's put things together. Let's prepare. Twenty, uh, how do we call it? Twenty fifteen in Morocco is just around the corner. Let's prepare for the qualifying series. Russia twenty eighteen will be starting with qualifiers. Let's prepare. Let's get there. And let me tell you, Germany has done it. They have shown that if you prepare well, you can win the World Cup. Spain did that in twenty ten. So Ghana can also do it. My brother, under this, under such circumstance. What could Kwasi Apia have done? If you bring in Arigo Saki, you bring in Franz Bakamboa, you bring in Giovanni Trapattoni, there is nothing he could have done. You have a coach who prepares his team for a game. You have players always meeting, as a, how do you call it, a committee members, always agitating for the appearance fee, always complaining. The coach plans his team. Look over here, we are training at 12 o'clock. Players come to tell you we are not training because we don't have our appearance fee. Under such circumstances, what can a coach do? A coach prepares his team to play against the United States of America. Players are complaining of appearance fee. He goes on his knees, begs them to go and play. They go and play against the United States. He comes again, begs them to go and play against Germany. And you have a last game against Portugal, which of course the players know if we lose this game, hey, anything can happen. Are we going to get our appearance fee? And so they are agitating. What can a coach do? There is nothing a coach could do by then. So if you bring in Arrigo Saki or Giovanni Trapattoni or Franz Beckenbauer, it is going to be the same thing. So personally, I believe Kwasiapia has got his other side. I'm not saying he's a saint. There are other things that he'll have to improve on. But all the same, let's look at Kwasiapia, what he has done as a coach since he took over from the Black Stars. To win against 6-1 against Egypt, which of course is unprecedented in Ghanaian football. Look at how we qualify to the World Cup. The first indigenous black coach to qualify to the World Cup. Apart from that, we qualified to the Cup of Nations. Um, he got to the semi-finals of the Cup of Nations, which of course was his first tournament. This was his first World Cup. Uh, look at the young players. A certain Majid Waris, who is in the team now. Jordan Ayou is in the team now. All the young players you see in the team were all invited by Coach Kwasiapia. A certain Afriye Aqua, who was also invited by, by Coach Kwasiapia. So we look at where his flaws are. Let's, I mean, help him grow as a coach. There is nothing we can do now. Are you telling me we have to go for a new coach now that we are preparing for the Cup of Nations qualifiers? I mean, I mean, where we think we faulted, let's help the man, let's put things together, let's empower him. If he has to go on refresher courses, let's help him as an FA, as a country.